Islamic calligraphy is the artistic practice of handwriting and calligraphy, based upon the alphabet in the lands sharing a common Islamic cultural heritage. It includes Arabic calligraphy, Ottoman, and Persian calligraphy. It is known in Arabic as Qat Islami, Qat Islami meaning Islamic line, design, or construction. The development of Islamic calligraphy is strongly tied to the Quran. Chapters and excerpts from the Quran are a common and almost universal text upon which Islamic calligraphy is based. Deep religious association with the Quran, as well as suspicion of figurative art as idolatrous, has led calligraphy to become one of the major forms of artistic expression in Islamic cultures. It has also been argued that Islamic calligraphy was motivated less by iconophobia since, in fact, images were by no means absent in Islamic art than by the centrality of the notion of writing and written text in Islam. It is noteworthy, for instance, that the Prophet Muhammad is related to have said, the first thing God created was the pen. As Islamic calligraphy is highly venerated, most works follow examples set by well-established calligraphers, with the exception of secular or contemporary works. In antiquity, a pupil would copy a master's work repeatedly until their handwriting was similar. The most common style is divided into angular and cursive, each further divided into several sub-styles. Instruments and media. The traditional instrument of the Islamic calligrapher is the kalam, a pen normally made of dried reed or bamboo. The ink is often in color, and chosen such that its intensity can vary greatly so that the greater strokes of the compositions can be very dynamic in their effect. Some styles are often written using a metallic tip pen. Islamic calligraphy is applied to a wide range of decorative mediums other than paper, such as tiles, vessels, carpets, and inscriptions. Before the advent of paper, papyrus and parchment were used for writing. The advent of paper revolutionized calligraphy. While monasteries in Europe treasured a few dozen volumes, libraries in the Muslim world regularly contained hundreds and even thousands of books. Coins were another support for calligraphy. Beginning in 692, the Islamic Caliphate reformed the coinage of the Near East by replacing visual depiction with words. This was especially true for dinars, or gold coins of high value. Generally, the coins were inscribed with quotes from the Quran. By the 10th century, the Persians, who had converted to Islam, began weaving inscriptions onto elaborately patterned silks. So precious were calligraphic inscribed textiles that crusaders brought them to Europe as prized possessions. A notable example is the Suer de Saint Joss, used to wrap the bones of Saint Joss in the Abbey of Saint Joss sur Mer, near Caen in northwestern France. Topic: Styles. Topic: Kufic. Kufic is the oldest form of the Arabic script. The style emphasizes rigid and angular strokes, which appears as a modified form of the old Nabataean script. The archaic Kufi consisted of about 17 letters without diacritic dots or accents. Afterward, dots and accents were added to help readers with pronunciation, and the set of Arabic letters rose to 28. It is developed around the end of the 7th century in the areas of Kufa, Iraq, from which it takes its name. The style later developed into several varieties, including floral, foliated, plated or interlaced, bordered, and squared kufi. It was the main script used to copy Qurans from the 8th to 10th century and went out of general use in the 12th century when the flowing Nasq style became more practical, although it continued to be used as a decorative element to contrast superseding styles. There were no set rules of using the kufic script, the only common feature is the angular, linear shapes of the characters. Due to the lack of methods, the scripts in different regions and countries and even down to the individuals themselves have different ways to write in the script creatively, ranging from very square and rigid forms to flowery and decorative. Common varieties include square kufic, a technique known as bani. Contemporary calligraphy using this style is also popular in modern decorations. Decorative kufic inscriptions are often imitated into pseudo kufics in Middle Age and Renaissance Europe. Pseudo kufix is especially common in Renaissance depictions of people from the Holy Land. The exact reason for the incorporation of pseudo kufix is unclear. It seems that Westerners mistakenly associated 13 to 14 th century Middle Eastern scripts as being identical with the scripts current during Jesus's time, and thus found natural to represent early Christians in association with them. 
Topic Nask. The use of cursive scripts coexisted with Kufic, but because in the early stages of their development they lacked discipline and elegance, cursive was usually used for informal purposes. With the rise of Islam, a new script was needed to fit the pace of conversions, and a well-defined cursive called Nask first appeared in the 10th century. The script is the most ubiquitous among other styles, used in Qurans, official decrees, and private correspondence. It became the basis of modern Arabic print. Standardization of the style was pioneered by Ibn Mukla (886–940 AD) and later expanded by Abu Hayyan at Tafidi (died 1009 AD) and Muhammad ibn Abd ar rahman (1492–1545 AD). Ibn Mukla is highly regarded in Muslim sources on calligraphy as the inventor of the Nasq style, although this seems to be erroneous. However, Ibn Mukla did establish systematic rules and proportions for shaping the letters, which use alif as the x height. Variation of the Nasq includes Thulith is developed as a display script to decorate particular scriptural ice. Letters have long vertical lines with broad spacing. The name, meaning third, is in reference to the x height, which is one third of the alif. Rikah is a handwriting style derived from Nasq and Thulith, first appeared in the 9th century. The shape is simple with short strokes and little flourishes. Mahakak is a majestic style used by accomplished calligraphers. It was considered one of the most beautiful scripts, as well as one of the most difficult to execute. Mahakak was commonly used during the Mameluk era, but the use becomes largely restricted to short phrases, such as the basmala, from the 18th century onward. Topic. Regional styles. With the spread of Islam, the Arabic script was established in a vast geographic area with many regions developing their own unique style. From the 14th century onward, other cursive styles began to develop in Turkey, Persia, and China. Nastalik is a cursive style originally devised to write the Persian language for literary and non-Quranic works. Nastalik is thought to be a later development of the Nasq and the earlier Talik script used in Iran. The name Talik means hanging and refers to the slightly steeped lines of which words run in, giving the script a hanging appearance. Letters have short vertical strokes with broad and sweeping horizontal strokes. The shapes are deep, hook-like, and have high contrast. A variant called shikasta is used in more informal contexts. Diwani is a cursive style of Arabic calligraphy developed during the reign of the early Ottoman Turks in the 16th and early 17th centuries. It was invented by Hausam Rumi, and reached its height of popularity under Suleiman I the Magnificent 1520 Spaces between letters are often narrow, and lines ascend upwards from right to left. Larger variations called jali are filled with dense decorations of dots and diacritical marks in the space between, giving it a compact appearance. Diwani is difficult to read and write due to its heavy stylization and became the ideal script for writing court documents as it ensured confidentiality and prevented forgery. Sini is a style developed in China. The shape is greatly influenced by Chinese calligraphy, using a horsehair brush instead of the standard reed pen. A famous modern calligrapher in this tradition is Haji Noor Din Mi Guangjiang. Topic. Modern. In the post-colonial era, artists working in North Africa and the Middle East transformed Arabic calligraphy into a modern art movement, known as the Hurafiya movement. Artists working in this field use calligraphy as a graphic from within a contemporary artwork. The term, Hurafiya is derived from the Arabic term, har for letter. Traditionally, the term was charged with Sufi intellectual and esoteric meaning. It is an explicit reference to a medieval system of teaching involving political theology and letterism. In this theology, letters were seen as primordial signifiers and manipulators of the cosmos. Hurafiya artists rejected Western art concepts, and instead grappled with a new artistic identity drawn from within their own culture and heritage. These artists successfully integrated Islamic visual traditions, especially calligraphy, into contemporary, indigenous compositions. Although Hurafiya artists struggled to find their own individual dialogue with nationalism, they also worked towards an aesthetic that transcended national boundaries and represented a broader affiliation with an Islamic identity. 
The Hurufia art movement probably began in North Africa around 1955, in the area around Sudan, with the work of Ibrahim el Salahi. However, the use of calligraphy in modern artworks appears to have emerged independently in various Islamic states. Few of the artists working in this field had knowledge of each other, allowing for different manifestations of Hurufia to emerge in different regions. In Sudan, for instance, artworks include both Islamic calligraphy and West African motifs. Leading exponents of Hurufia art can be found in Jordan. The Jordanian artist and art historian, Princess Wijdan Ali, for example, who revived the traditions of Arabic calligraphy in a modern, abstract, format. The Hurufia art movement was not confined to painters, but also included artists working in a variety of media, such as the Jordanian ceramicist, Mahmoud Taha, who combined traditional aesthetics, including calligraphy, with skilled craftsmanship nor was the movement confined to Jordan. In Iraq, the movement was known as al bud al-Wahad or the One Dimension Group, and in Iran, it was known as the Saka Khanna movement. Western art has influenced Arabic calligraphy in other ways, with forms such as calligraphy t, the use of calligraphy in public art to make politico-social messages or to vandalize public buildings and spaces. Notable Islamic calligraphy t artists include, Yazan Halwani active in Lebanon, and A11 in Tehran and the Middle East. Gallery Kufic Nask Regional varieties Modern examples List of calligraphers Some classical calligraphers Medieval Ibn Mukla d. 939-940 Ibn al-Bawab d. 1022 Fakr un-Nisa century Yaqat al-Mustasimi d. 1298 Mir Ali Tabrizi d. 14th-15th century Ottoman era Sheikh Hamdullah 1436-1520 Hamid Itak 1891 Sayyid Kazim Gubari, d. 1624. Hafiz Osman, 1642 1698. Mustafa Rakim, 1757 1826. Mehmed Shevki Effendi, 1829 1887. Contemporary Ali Ajali, b. 1939, Iran. Wijnan Ali, b. 1939, Jordan. Hashim Muhammad al Baghdadi in Iraq, Hamid Itak, Muhammad Hosni Syria, Shakir Hassan al Said in Iraq, Medea Omar Iraqi American, Sadiqwan Nakash, Pakistan, Ibrahim el Salahi, Sudan, Mahmoud Taha, Jordan Charles Hossein Zenderudi, B. 1937, Iran. Abdul Rauf Baydoun, B. 1956, Syria. Muhammad Zachariah, B. 1942, United States of America. Topic. See also. Islamic architecture. Islamic Golden Age. Islamic graffiti. Islamic pottery Museum of Turkish calligraphy art Ottoman Turkish language Persian calligraphy Sini script Uthman Taha Topic References Topic Sources Wolfgang Kosick Islamisch Schriftkunst des Kufischen Geometrisches Kufi in 593 Schriftbiespielen. Deutsch, Kufi, Arabisch. Christoph Brunner, Basel 2014, ISBN 978-3-906206-10-3. External links Islamic calligraphy pictures Masterstanbul.com Baradariarts.com